Since our team began working on Light Pong over a year and a half ago, Light Pong has gone through many changes and iterations. Many that are completely unknown to the general public, especially since the Light Pong you see in our Kickstarter video is not at all what the real Light Pong looks like. So today, our founder and CTO are going to walk you through every single controller design up until Kickstarter and beyond into the many designs no one has seen yet due to us censoring and keeping them confidential. And then, in a soon to be update, we will reveal the final controller designs of Lightpong. This is the Lightpong handle journey. Let's begin. Okay. So we're going to start off with this very first... Oh, my good lord. <laughs> <laughs> The most beautiful part is the big, big tangle of Arduino that's like barely wired together. Yeah. Thank you to Elliot for this model. This is using plastic shot glasses for the handle. With arcade style buttons. It feels super cheap to hold it in the hand. Yeah. Because absolutely. it's an actual shot cup. I like snakes, but it feels like the type of snake that I wouldn't like. <laughs> I think we have some videos of it. We'll put them on in, in, the, in the video too. Successful prototype. Yeah. What's the next one, man? Yeah, well, jump ahead in time. Where are we? So after I saw the previous one, my feedback for Elliot was like, oh, the tube is too thin and too wormy. And then he came and provided this. Uh -huh. So this was like the next iteration. And this one is the same buttons, but this time everything is built into the tube itself. So this is where, where did this come from? This is silicone tubing okay. to use for uh, not air conditioners, but to use in like kitchens and stuff like that. Yeah. These handles now are 3D printed. So it's around the like this one. It's got a speaker in it as yeah. well. Arduino box where like everybody yeah. on their social media was calling it out like, it's not actually just in the tube, yeah. there's that box on the side. Yeah. We're hiding the box. We're hiding the box, yeah. Uh, okay. So this is kind of a big jump. His neck is broken. <laughs> <laughs> so firstly, it's a fully integrated system, which means there's no more box. We eliminate the box completely. This has probably seen the most action out of any right. light bulb unit we've had. Right. This is what we shot the Kickstarter commercial with. Yeah, right? yeah, this is the one we shot the Kickstarter with. Yeah. Right, right. So since the Kickstarter got done, I mean, we've had to make a lot of iterations. We had to launch the Kickstarter with these janky prototypes, showcase the idea, and then once we got funded to then stop everything that we did and basically go 10 steps back. And the reality is that it took a lot of time because we had to literally start from zero again. But what I don't understand is where that sort of gun style controller came in. And that's the version that we've been still using to date. Yeah. Right. So the magnified version of it, people get confused. They don't know how to hold it. And that's kind of where we started to talk to David and sort of go in a different direction with it. Uh, next is banana style. <laughs> kind of kind of boring. I, I like the banana a lot. David had like kind of basically let us pick and choose from some things that he had. Generally, I'm bored with this design. Like, what, what are we thinking? And it ended up with this iteration. Mm. Big honking button. So these are the fit test revisions. Oh my gosh, you've been all oh, that's crazy. <laughs> the, the weird thing is like how hard actually designing something like this is. I thought, oh, it's just uh, handles. I'm sure there's whole divisions dedicated to right. just this part. Right. At some point, we decided, let's go longer. Before but honestly, in a weird way, I do remember being like, I'm okay with this. Yeah. I can go ahead with it. And we still made at least 20 more iterations since this point. I wasn't happy. <laughs> I wasn't happy, yeah. If this project is over budget, it's because Graham. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't happy here yet because I hated the trigger. I would get like frustrated holding this controller. I'd be like, oh. And then 21 has this recessed trigger in it. It felt like there was little slot for my finger to go and there was no question about how to hold the controller. One of the major revisions we didn't have were the CNC prototypes from our manufacturers. So here's Graham and Akib talking about it. These are the first prototype handles that we received from the manufacturer in China. Look, it's got a USB-C port in there. The USB-C port makes it feel real. Here, you play. <laughs> This is like a light boomerang. <laughs> and then also testing out, where do we put the logo? We were like, okay, where do we put the logo? Do we still put it on the top here? We tried the sides. Do we try, yeah, we tried putting it on the side. Like that felt 
pretty bad. <laughs> but we just decided not to put it on it. Right. You know? Thanks for watching. We hope it was interesting for you to see just how much work it took for us to improve the handles and controllers over time. Look forward to our future update where you will see what the final light palm actually looks like.